Okay, so if you are between 30 and 40 and you still living in public housing in Section 8, listen up. What you doing? Like, what you doing? No, serious, what you doing? If you forgive a woman for cheating, she will forever cheat on you and just use you for free accommodation. And that seems to be a big, big trigger. Why? Why do you <laughs> uh, think it's so triggering for people? Uh, I think the thing is, there's a lot more men that forgive cheating than they care to admit. A woman from Western Pennsylvania is charged with stealing tens of thousands of dollars from her employer by making her boyfriend a fake employee. Michelle Krasinski was a manager of several fast food restaurants in Butler County. She faked paperwork. It's my man's life. Yeah, boy, look, uh, we got a we got a special guest in the motherfucking house, yes, y'all. Yes. Good yeah. evening, ladies and gents. Hey, yeah. uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I jump for the camera? Jump yeah. for the camera. Barry, there she go, right there. <laughs> Tyra Jacqueline in the building. Hey. <laughs> yeah, let's. It, if y'all don't know, that right there is the credit lady. <laughs> <laughs> she makes sure she get all your credit right. Yeah. You want to do some tricking and some hooking with that oh, extra money you got? <laughs> She'll take care of you. Listen, you can do a whole lot of things with credit, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. they, they take credit cards, too. They take, they take credit cards? Oh, yeah, they do. They be like this. Yeah, I like to do some tricking. I got, I got my MasterCard right here. <laughs> Look, it's only you, Lou. Come on. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> I do, I do some tricking with a with a food stamp. I don't care. <laughs> Listen, this is your pocket. As much as it's food costs true. nowadays. Listen. What? <laughs> look, not just food. Everything. What yeah. you mean? Just food. Yeah, yeah. You, you right about that. Boy, well, look, you go in the supermarket, man. Two bags is gonna cost you like a hundred eighty dollars. Yeah. All right, let's, let's go to the first video. So we got uh, first video. All right, let's do it. First video. She okay. said she gained 50 pounds after her husband. And no, she said she gained 50 pounds and her husband left her and her kids. Mm. Let's see what that's about. Where's Peanut at? Hello, Peanut. Fish <sighs> Jump Podcast. Oh. Let's go. Y'all want to know something? This is why Wavy really left me. This is how I used to look. This is how I used to look. He, I'm gonna show y'all how I look now. I'm gonna show y'all why my husband left me and my kids. It wasn't because I wasn't cooking and cleaning and everything. It's because when he met me, I was looking like this. And I'm gonna show you towards the end of this video how I look now and what I'm dealing with. And this is what I believe why my husband left me, me and our kids. <sighs> I gave this man years of my life cooking and cleaning. <sighs> kids gave him everything he wanted. I had a few flaws, okay, granted, but this is the reason, this is why he left me. This is the truth. And if you watch him, motherfucker, you know you wrong. I'm going to show you how I look. I'm 24 years old. I'm a Gemini and I'm a medical. She says she's 24. No, 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 no. She, no, I think she says she was 24. Eh? Is, that, is that what she said? Is that what she said? She, I, I kind of love. I was, was trying to get low. the whole visual. First of all, I got a couple things for her. Maybe she was cooking too much. Okay. okay. So if you was cooking yeah. and cleaning, yeah, that's fine and good. But if you're cooking too much, but then again, what's up with all them clothes in the background? Like all piled up like that. Like maybe you need to clean. Maybe that's why your husband left you. Maybe you got too many of them little brown roaches crawling around. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Lord have mercy. Hey, listen, let me tell you something. I don't know about I don't know about why her husband because I'm sure there's more it's two sides yeah, yeah, it's, to yeah, what is story. yeah two sides of the story right. yeah, I mean there's more than what she's saying um but yeah I agree with you little. Yeah. I, I do feel like some things are missing but you but you but you you do like you do gotta keep yourself up for your partner right and um I do feel like there's more to the story but that that she almost she looks okay we could tell it's the same person but she almost looks like a different person she sure does she um does. She, with she the does. weight gain but there could be some other factors there remember health factors come in mm -hmm. when you had them kids back to back you know like yeah. you know things things life does happen um but but like she, but there's things missing i mean was he there to help her too like yeah. you, you know, my yeah. husband, but i mean like, but at the end mm -hmm. of the day you know how it is so both women and men they have this superficial thing when it comes to relationships mm -hmm. men 
they need that eye candy. They yeah. need somebody that's always that visual candy. Yeah. Consistently yeah. be that eye candy. Mm -hmm. But then you got the women. They're more so like on the psychological aspect, like, you know, they can overlook some physical aspects that are not necessarily appealing. So but but you also got the women. They go for the, the height. You know that the yeah. women, they want men of a certain height. Yeah. They want men that's muscular. Well, 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 you the, got the, some the, women. Is it the four sixes or three sixes? Yeah. So six six pack. Feet. so it's like both men and women have their their things that they that they go after so therefore at the same time like we're all saying mm -hmm. it got to be something else missing because yeah. yeah you can honestly tell that she did gain some weight in her face she didn't really show so much at the end of the video yeah we can tell she got a little bit of a stomach but i need the husband to tell me why did you leave her and the kids so my thing is yeah. like, okay you left the wife mm -hmm. but did you like literally just like up and just leave the kids and you're not taking care of the kids no more? I don't know. What's something up with that? Or, and he got and he got somebody else. Let's be fair. Yeah, yeah, obviously, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. obviously, yeah, men just yeah. don't up and leave. They, right. they, they, you know, they got somebody else. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Obviously, mm -hmm. there's a couple of things that <laughs> right. she left out the story. Mm -hmm. It might be maybe I mean, more one, than a couple I mean, things. It, I mean, one, did he try to help her? Like, yo, listen, that's, that's what I want to know. Need to lose weight. But I've right. always thought that. It takes a lot for a man to just up and leave. Yeah, yeah, a lot of times saying. men they'll saying. stick through and they'll be like and they'll just settle. But for him to actually just up and leave, he must have got tired of being sick and tired of something. Yeah, oh but, yeah, he definitely but, got but tired. But peep it though, did he mm -hmm. gain weight too? Because most I'm sure people, he did. I ain't gonna lie, I think at least about 70, 80 percent of the time you gain a weight together. Yeah, you do. Right. <laughs> exactly. You do. Yeah, yeah. You when know, the, the men catch them symptoms too when the, when the, when the women pregnant and they be gaining a little weight. They might get a little nauseous. Yeah. And all so that husband, stuff yeah. hey, hey, hubby. Yeah, we need a response. We need the response. I need you. Yeah. Hubby. I need you I to need tag you. her. Yeah, I, I need you to like hop on this video. I need you to tell me, Miss Honey Dip Tea, why you left wifey and the kids. Yeah, that's what we need to know. Now you know. What it is. <laughs> Don't worry, you know girl. Just go ahead. Go get that get she that body back. <laughs> right. Because those dudes going to be knocking at that door once you get that body back. But at the end of the day, it's like, it's she, not even about the dudes. It's like, I, okay. I'm going to tell you why he left. Why? Because, why he? because he got tired of holding her in that 69. She... Yeah, you know I mean, she's got, got, got too heavy. Yeah, she's like, listen here, nah. baby. Yeah, it's too heavy. Nah, mm -mm, you I lay on your side. Yeah, that's I can't breathe. Mm -mm. No, I can't breathe. That's not how you do it. So wait a minute, you get comfortable in the sixty nine. She's not that big. She's not that big. Like he yeah, could be. Did. He might be a small guy. Who she, knows? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. She could exactly. be a small like, guy. She did gain some weight, but she's not. She's not like. Oh, listen, listen, low. If that was his problem, then they was doing it wrong. Mm -hmm. They were doing it wrong. Yeah, they got lay on your side. Right. You got lay on the side. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Look, look, it's a whole bunch of ways to get that thing <laughs> out. Yeah. Oh, my. Listen, dish on at the dark, <laughs> y'all. Uh, dish on the these, these ladies never fail me, boy. Dish on at the dark. So, 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 so let's go to the first comment. Okay. So, say so first comment says, "You gave up, so did he." Mm. <laughs> I'm telling you, I, I think it that's what be. it is. I think that's what it is. Yeah, like we said, like men, they they need that. They need that physical. They need that that visual eye candy. Like you know, the women are more you know psychological, so it could be. And you know that could be mm -hmm. that could be depression as well. Oh, um, what? See? Oh no, no, go ahead. I'm just, okay, I'm no, what something. I was saying is, um, she could have been depressed. Um, you know that that plays a big factor, especially at, especially after having the children. That postpartum is no joke. Yeah. Oh, well, you know what? And then it's, it is as as a woman that has you know four children, it's not as easy to lose that weight oh, sometimes. No. Oh my gosh, because them hormones, your hormones change, your body change. It's not that easy to change to to, to lose that weight right back. It well, you know, isn't. real quick, let me let me ask y'all, ladies, the, is postpartum damn near automatic? Every time you know you give birth, no, it's different it, for everybody. Yeah. It is different after each child, bro. Yeah, and it depends. That's it's totally some, subjective. But, some people but, don't even go through right. depression, like uh, postpartum depression. Mm -hmm. Like me, I've had four kids. I never went through. You never, okay, but now, now let me ask you: Do you know when you're going through postpartum? No, not all the time. No, you don't. You don't? No, mm -hmm. nope. And it could be delayed. Yep, it might because not happen. I can honestly right. say, like with my youngest son. Um, I didn't realize I was going through it until after the fact, mm -hmm. and at that point, maybe I think maybe he was like two or three. Right. But it was a it was a combination of things. It was a combination of you know me just feeling a whole bunch of pressure with the kids and in mm -hmm. life and work and everything else. So yeah, get out of here. Now you learn something new. 
You know when you stick with ladies, that's yeah. you always <laughs> learn new Man, well, listen, oh my God. Yeah, Lisa listen to got, us. You'll, I'm, you'll I'm learn glad there's men to go through that postpartum, yeah. boy. Yeah. Some people are go go through it a little worse where they may need, you know, some assistance such as medicine or whatever like right. that. So, you know. Yeah. Learn something new every day. Any, anyway, anywho, anywho, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna blow y'all head up. Now, oh, who we got? Oh, we got a new subscriber. We got uh, what? We got yeah. Brian. Uh, who's it? Brian Toller. Brian. Welcome. Welcome to the party, pal. To the party, pal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got second comment. So second comment says, "It's not even about a man, but." Take care of yourself right. for you. That's yes. what I said. That's yeah. what I said. It's not It's not about him. It's about you. So at the end of the day, forget who's next. What about you? I so, slightly disagree. I, I, right. I think it needs to be about you first and also your partner. Because you are a reflection of your partner as well. Oh, so you know, you hit that right Yeah, but at the end of the day, if he left... Now it's time for you to focus on you, yes, not definitely. not you and him. Because at that point, you know what? Because in my mind, once you leave, I ain't going back. There's mm-hmm. no backwards. There's, there's, there's no, no back. spinning the block, nope. right? Mm-mm, not at all. <laughs> now you can mean, Look, you know what I mean. You thought the grass you was greener on the what? other side, buddy? You really about to find out. No, you know what I'm saying? When he put, he laying that wood down. You know what I mean? Sometimes you got to let him spin the block. Sometimes. No thing. Come on, no. Oh, man. Oh, 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 oh. That's, 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 that's just like, just like y'all say. Okay. Just like y'all say it's po- possibly somebody better. Mm. Okay, I could possibly get somebody better so wait, too. So wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. You mean to tell me you have, ne- you have never let a man spin the block on you? I I guarantee you, I didn't. All my exes are exes for a reason. I swear to God. <laughs> I don't want that crap. Let me turn my because back. You know no, you let me, know let me no, shut, let, me, I want y'all to see me turn my back on. No, you know, because for me, <laughs> so it's like, no. Why are you so tall? It's, it's, more, than just, <laughs> it's more than just physical for me because my thing is, it's like, if you weren't interested or if you wanted to leave, mm-hmm. now, now I can't even mentally get into having any type of interactions with you. In, in a sexual manner at all whatsoever because now yeah. I'm thinking like okay like if I wasn't good enough for you at that time and you left why am I good enough for you now no I mean You're well not, sometimes no. the sex is good you gotta spend the no. block when the sex is no, good no thank you I don't uh, want it because I know how to please my Tyra, kids, have, so. you, have you ever let a man spend the block on you I spent the block but, yeah, oh shit you spent the block I have but not <laughs> I'm not on a oh let's get back together type of and spend yeah. the block just yeah. like yeah I, I spent yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah, just, just a little bit just a little bit not a whole lot because then I think I started act, get, you know, uh, getting a little bit masculine in my thinking when it comes to that like uh, I try to detach myself emotionally they like, say oh women so emotional when it comes to sex and all that stuff like nah we can do it too yeah, so we definitely spent, yeah, spent the block, and then that's what it was. Then it was like, okay, all right. I'm saying, you later. Know, I mean, sometimes you got to spin the block in the room, spin the block, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Listen, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. I mean, tell us what you think. I want to, you know what? I want to know has any of our, any of our subscribers spent the block? Okay, yeah. And I know, boy, some people, boy, people spin the block like See, a woman. Jalil said, nah, fam. He said, nah, fam. I don't believe no, him. I no, don't believe him. I 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 don't believe him at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen. Yeah, El Boogie. Listen. El Boogie, sorry. I know you, bro. Men always come the heck back. Always. They always come back. No matter you give them the play or not, they always trying to come back and see It could be a year. It could be two years. Years, they always they all, 15 years look, because listen, you know why you know they sending a text message because hey. you know why ain't no hey because I'm gonna tell you I don't you, even respond I'm gonna tell you why because wow. <laughs> they're reminiscing or something cra- crazy coochie is the best coochie oh my I, god yeah, we have, crazy coochie is the best coochie yeah, I've heard it in yeah there. I mean mm-hmm. yeah that's what I'm saying. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes go. when y'all got them crazy dudes, you be like, he go crazy as a motherfucker, but you know what I mean? We going, we going you know to comment. Yeah, See, that's, that that tox- that. that's that toxic penis. Hey. And you know what? I'm too and old. That toxic penis some good no. penis, and probably. I'm too old for it now. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, let me tell at you something. Point. That's <laughs> that crazy stuff. <laughs> yes, like, I, I need someone that's like, you know, going to be, like, I'm my piece, but also at right. the same time contribute me to boring, some of that. I want a boring nerd, okay? Like, No, I don't want nobody boring. Oh, man, so listen. Again, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Y'all tell us what you think. Goddamn, this uh, your podcast. Podcast. Uh, so, listen, ladies, shall we slide to uh, video number number two? Yes, sure. All right, all right. Let me get it. Let me get it set up because I don't have it set up. Oh thanks my to, gosh! Thanks why, to why, uh, why? Honey Dip T over ready. here. 
Yeah, look, yeah, yeah, Cameron ready. Kane on that. Yeah, that's how we, we can fill in the blanks. Why he getting ready? Why he getting ready? We can fill in the blanks. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, any anyway, anywho. <laughs> so we got video number two, y'all. Okay. All right, if you're in your thirties and forties living in public housing or Section Eight, you need to watch this. Uh oh. <laughs> What's by we about to get triggered up in this bad boy. Let's mm-hmm. you know, kick it off. It's Fish Jones mm-hmm. Podcast. Oh, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you are between thirty and forty, and you still living in public housing in Section Eight, listen up. What you doing? Like what you doing? No, serious. What you doing? See, I don't know how long you've been there. Maybe you just got there. I, I, I. I don't know where you've been, that you've been on a good foot and then you step backwards to go on the Section 8 public housing. Now, am I just thrashing these programs? No. Are they actually good? Only if you use it to get to the next level, which is difficult um, if you have integrity and actually a vision. Very difficult. However, if you are between the ages of 30 and 40 and you've been in housing for like five years and you ain't, you don't have no degree, no certifications, or you still don't know what you want to do, then my question is, what you doing? Like, really, what you doing? (sighs) My God. Listen, I cannot even tell you. All the housing authorities that we go to, y'all need to fast forward your lives. Look outside your neighborhood and look at, God bless them. I love them. God knows I am not making fun of our seniors. Bless them. Bless them, Lord. Bless their whole heart, okay? But just look, look. Why most of the these projects have older African American women? Most of them are, you know, we suffering from obesity. Hell, I suffer from it, okay? And then just like hopeless, they're looking defeated, looking like life done passed them by, you know. Like look fast forward the tape, fast forward it. Y'all know how we do women. We fast forward the day it's going to film to see how this thing going to end. Well, look outside your window. The ones that sitting outside, half of them, the ones that ain't got nothing else to do but sit outside all day, that's going to be you in 10 years if you do not get on the good foot. Now, somebody going to be real pissed off at this. And I don't even care because I, I am depressed when I go to these housing authorities. I am utterly depressed. I'm like, Jesus Christ, what's happening? Get your tail. If you are in your 30s and your 40s living in public housing, you better be in somebody's FSS program, Family Self-Sufficiency, somebody's roles program. You need to be in somebody's Department of Labor, Workforce Development, getting a certification, somebody's community college, getting a degree. You need to be looking at Section 3, trying to open up your own business. What your kids going to do? You got teenagers running around here in these streets. Come on now. Stop. God is not pleased with that. That's not that's not the word of the Lord. It's not. If you're sitting at home and you between 30 and 40 and your day you sitting on a on the stoop outside, get God. Get him today. He he and he actually he actually in the in the in the uh in the courtyard. He out there. Go find him. Say, Lord, cry out, cry out, cry out. What we gotta do, Lord? What I don't know what we gotta do. Go look at the great escape. Find resources. Get busy on the good foot, y'all. Because if you think that it ain't going to be in exchange for that time of yours, if you think that that talent that God gave you, you could just sit on it, you're in trouble. You're in big trouble. Trouble, trouble. Don't do that. Right, right, I got no goddamn talent. Everybody is born hey, with a talent. Everybody wish they had talent. Now, the question is, is if they use it or not. Mm-hmm. What? Ain't, well, everyone is well, born with the talent. Well, what did the singer say? You got to use what you got to, <sighs> to get, get what, what you, you want. want. This is my issue. Mm, go if, ahead. If you want Section Eight or or public housing, why why aren't you stacking money? You I mean, what? like just stacking you, you all of you. If you're paying seven dollars a month for rent, you should be just stacking I'm money, to, not I, buying I, big ass TVs. From, and not, shit. not from my example, but from people that I know, sometimes it's not that easy. Because living in from the people that I know that have been like in Section 8 or on those public assistance programs, number one, the state don't make it easy sometimes for people to get ahead. They don't. Because the minute okay. you are the object on, is for not for them to not get ahead. Right. That's so the, the thing issue. is, it's like they mm-hmm. get trapped. Oh, so they, 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 they get they financially. Can stay on it? 
They get financially You earn $5 over whatever the heck And then they they taking you off They taking you the hell off Or they increasing the rent or whatever Or or mortgage Because Section 8 does um, also assist with mortgages But I agree with her wholeheartedly um, this type the the uh, public living situations are um, place don't don't get me wrong they do help people but I agree that they should be leveraged as tools not for your entire life yeah but then you have those mm-hmm. people that get complacent with yes it. They mentally get complacent with it mm-hmm. then it's like okay you know what I got this free and then you know what and then they start doing little side stuff. And then the money that they are getting, they spend. Doing hair, doing selling what? hair. Look, hey, because that's what I'm you saying. Do what you got to do. That's what I'm saying. Everybody has I a talent. I ain't mad at you. So I they, they are you. making their money, but it's like, okay, at the end of the day, they get, they're, they're, they're get, they're like complacent with that cheap rent. And it's like, okay, oh, I can do this and I can do that. And then the, the, the state is paying for the utilities. So they're basically living like free. But once again, it's like, it's so but hard you're not to stacking get. Your bread. It's but hard they, to but get they, out of that But trap. listen, listen. Especially but if you when, making, like right now, you making $15 society, an hour, how are you stacking anything you can, with four kids? Especially in today's like, society. It's designed to put them in a place and keep them in a place. Mm. Right. Oh, you know, you know um, I, I've, I'm in like a bunch of Facebook groups and girls are like, oh yeah, I was door dashing. I made a few dollars. Blah blah blah, and they didn't took my stamps. Like what? Like oh, she, right. like, yeah, like they and they do that. Like so, and then it keeps people in the mentality of I can't be better because I'm gonna end up homeless if I do. Yeah, and then you do have the it's, other it's side. Terrible. It's you have terrible. the other side of the mm-hmm. people who grew up like that. Right. That's what they're used to. Mm-hmm. So pretty much to them, if that's all they know, that's all they're going to do. Mm-hmm. Like if if they knew better, they would do better. So mm-hmm. you got these people there. They're, they want to stay on that because their moms, their grandmoms, yep. their aunts, their whole entire family right. is in a project. Mm-hmm. So that's yeah. what they're going to stay on there or on Section 8, whatever the case may be. And their minds be. stay small. And that's where, right. Their because minds stay in the project. These programs do give these people resources. What I don't like. Yes, they do. What I don't mm-hmm. like is, is that there's no cutoff point. Mm-hmm. Because it's mm-hmm. like, okay, you on, you on this Section 8 program for 20 years. At what point? Are you going to say, you know what? You've done and exhausted your funds. We got to take you off. They don't do that. The only cutoff point is if you make over this dollar amount. Now we take right. it away from you. Okay, that's the that's the cutoff point. It's at what like, point? So, at yeah, what right. point is the so state almost, responsible for making? It's a catch twenty two. Right. It, so it's it, almost it, like, well, you know what? I can't do better because mm-hmm. as soon as I attempt to do better, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm fucking stuck. Yeah, you're yeah, stuck. but then also at the same time that forces you to be an adult. Like, look, at the end of the day, be accountable. Like, you got to make your own money. The state can't always take care of you. Like, you got these kids. You took. You made these kids. Now here you are. Go get your own house. Go get your own car and all the other stuff. Stop relying on the state because at the end of the day, it's like okay, then what? When you when you become elderly. Where you want to live then? It's going. It's the well, same. And what she exactly what she was talking about. It's the same cycle. Now they're living yeah. in the senior places, which, which is from crazy. The people with the same poverty mindset. Some there too. Yeah, they've been on the food stamps and they've been in Section Eight all their life. Now they in the fifty five and up. And or I 60 get it. And up I and get it. The, like, it's you know, all the same cycle. They're right. like, well, when I get my stamps, and you know they can't. <laughs> yeah, you know they crazy. can't get make more hey. money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I buy some food stamps? See, 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 she just perpetuating, yeah. perpetuating hey, poverty, hey, y'all. Hey, yeah. hey. I mean, that, but that's what happens. The, 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 the poverty lifestyle and life cycle just keeps going. You know, the, the, the people, yeah. the folks with the money, they they plan for the next 100 years. This is what I, this is people, what I people think. People in the poverty mindset state, plan for Saturday. This yeah. is what I think the state mm-hmm. should do. Like, at the end of the day, instead of constantly auditing, you know, uh, making sure that you take these people off mm-hmm. the programs mm-hmm. hire more people to make sure that okay you know what if you got these resources make sure that people are actually utilizing them so these people can get off the assistance i think that's what they really need to do right. because that's, it's yeah, like at the end idea. of the day it's like they're just never going to improve their lives nah, nah. So, they're just so, never- wait, so what did l boogie say l boogie said everybody's not equipped to do better and can't handle the the load of owning your own because the shit is stressful. I mean, it being is. a homeowner, it can be stressful. That's true. Uh, yeah, yeah I can say it. That shit Listen, is. I didn't experience the whole year of Murphy's Law with my darn house. <laughs> oh my this gosh. Year, okay? Being an adult in general is mm-hmm. stressful. It's always something coming at you left from left to right. But it's like, you know, if you have supports, you got support systems, 
you got friends, the the right people in your corner, not just people that's just going to like gossip with you, but mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm, good positive mm-hmm. people. They'll help you. Yeah, that but if, the, if all they friends from the project, they all think <laughs> they all the got that project way. mentality. Yep, they all think say? the same way. Yeah. Yep. I right, said, so, so let's go to the first comment. So. First comment says Crab Blades this weekend in the yeah. Crab Blades in the Say it again, goddamn. Say me that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, give us your address. I'll Crab Blades. Okay. <laughs> Crab Blades this weekend. Yes. I'm on my way. Say me some Crab Blades. So, so, so first comment says I got on Section 8 at 31, mm-hmm. and I was a nurse by 33, off the program at 34. Yes, I used I it love well. It. I love it. Yes, you did use it well. Like we said, it right. is a tool. Leverage yeah. it to get where you need to go. They don't abuse it. Right. I love it. So which which tells you is she always had the elevation the mentality. mentality. Right, mm-hmm. right. But uh, most, of the, most of the folks don't. And I just want to let everybody know I'm not downplaying these type of state programs because yes they are needed for, for people for various right. reasons mm-hmm. the issue is is people just get stuck and, and they abuse it and, it's, and, a, it's and abuse it, yeah they and it, but it. but but the system does you know doesn't really encourage people not being stuck they want us not to, to stay as an underclass at the end of the day well, um, so, i'll tell you boy yeah i mean so it's on let me listen let me you know uh, working yeah. in the financial space People like, um, you know, the biggest thing I do is personal credit. And these these are the people that got the 500 credit scores and they can't do nothing. They can't go nowhere until yeah, they that's because it. they choose not to. Yeah, they choose not they choose to. Not but to. it's hard to afford to do it, too. Um, no, at times not, as well. not, no, not really, because I be seeing a lot of these people, they use their money on what they want. On what they want. Yes, that's so true. Are, 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 are you trying say, to they use it for like big man, TVs? And, yeah, yeah, they, they Jordans, do. For real, they do. Air Jordans. Yeah, stop I, bullshitting. Are you serious? Look at that. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I know the game, but there you know are the people, game? I know the game. But it's people seriously out here working. We call them the working poor. You know, mm. they 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 work. They get up. They do their nine to five every day, just like you. And they can't afford to do stuff, period. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and act like I like that. They don't exist because yeah, it does. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Ain't that something? So comment number two. Comment number, Slide two. Name, comment number two. Yeah, Jalil over here acting up. Even folks What'd he on say? top <laughs> even can come back down and need it, ma'am. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Damn. That's, yeah, that's true. Say it again. And say it again. Wait a minute. Look. I'm, about to, I'm about to drop something real quick, though. So we got some other type of folks that know how to play the system as well. Oh, yeah. Where oh, they, yeah. Where their family mm. got money, but... And so out of work. But their, work their, their money system? don't run through their social security numbers. So... They run them in other, they run their money and everything, their businesses and everything. They lock it up in other yeah, spots. Though. So where, when it comes to, oh, your personal finances, oh, oh, oh I only make minimum wage, <laughs> but for real, for real. Hey, So, so what you saying? Hey, that's, that's, <laughs> so, that's uh, after the show. That's, 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 that's after yeah, the show, guys. That's, that's the Sorry, kind of, that's we can't kind share that part with y'all, so yeah, yeah. Yeah, just share that with us. You oh, said, uh, you, yeah. you said, they don't, they don't run through the personal oh, no, finances, the money, right? the money don't, the, the money don't go through the social security, which, tr- mm, like, mm, look at that! Yeah, mm, like, mm, it ain't ran through their social security number. I'll say it like hey, that. Hey, listen. So what you gonna, saying? I need me a, a, another on. social security number? Wait, wait, no, no, <laughs> no. Wait, wait, now, we gonna talk at the no, show. I don't talk about illegal things now. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> She's like, don't get me in trouble. No, but, no, here's the thing. Because I, I see people all the time with social media advocating for that type of thing and that Get will the fuck out and of that will land on social in media? jail yes. oh, i ain't going to jail never mind you can keep you, I don't listen you honey know. i worked on state road you jail ain't where you want to be mm-hmm. oh, I know. <laughs> yeah 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 because i'm i'm too old to be taking people mm-hmm. booty mm-hmm. <laughs> oh because you ain't getting so, took uh, so yeah. take yeah. it yeah. 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 take it so yeah. 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 i'm i'll be the booty bandit i ain't gonna get my booty i ain't get my booty bandit dies but you know book back because we don't know Mm-mm. Yeah, man, you ain't taking. Yeah, she she said that. Look, she should have yeah. said that in the beginning. He said no, Diddy, no, Diddy. Ah! Yeah. yeah, yes, Diddy. I like your love. Yes, Diddy. <laughs> Jalil said no, Diddy. <laughs> look, that's Lowe's little. Uh, that's his buddy. Oh, yeah. yeah, man, that's my boy right there. El, yeah, that's what's up. El Boogie, man, what's up? Man? We doing the Phillies game, man. What's up? Yeah, man, I'm I'm fiending over. Here. I need. I, I need to be at a Phillies Phoenix. game this weekend, man. Got me feeling. Like yeah. 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 Not like that, though. 
I was just singing the song. Yeah, he knows he, said. he knows she like. <laughs> so what we so what we got? So third comment. What we got there? Come on, you want to read the third comment? Okay. The third comment. Go ahead. Hit it. Why aren't the cops listening? She said, please don't. Ha ha ha. The cops do listen. <laughs> yes, they do. They listen uh, and they, they read you everything. Talking about, you talking about the welfare police? No, my first husband was a police officer. They do listen. Trust me when I tell Get you. Get out of here. Oh, shit. No, okay, so next video, listen, listen. because I think she done said something too listen, much on this video listen, at this you, point. You know, you know, you know, uh, no, I don't, uh, don't want to, never mind, trust I don't want to buy no food stamps. <laughs> yeah. You know what they say, dial 911, make a cop come. <laughs> nah, I'm going to ask you, you'll beat 911 like this. <laughs> hold up, hold up, you, you know the, the, the song, 911 is a joke. <laughs> oh yeah, get up again. Get, 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 yeah, get down. Down. Get down. Down. Is Why is this guy? He ain't got no legs. What the hell? <laughs> oh, that that's my that's my little boy Scoot Scoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, so we got a new subscriber for Ness, man. Welcome to the party, somebody man. Su- oh, somebody subscribe. Yes. Every time they subscribe, Scoot Scoot go across the screen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so was, was that the last comment? Yes, it was, yes. Mm-hmm. All right, listen, man. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Y'all tell and us what subscribe. you think. And subscribe. Thank you for the new subscribers. That's what I'm talking about, goddamn. So we got the video number three. three. Video number three? three? Yeah. Yes. Video number three. three. So vi- video number three. three. Let's do it. Yeah, she committed paternity fraud mm. for 18 years mm. and absolutely have no accountability. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Just like a black woman. What? Don't make you know me what? see, see <laughs> now. He, the, the, those are fighting words. Right there. You got, <laughs> Not like a black woman. You know what I mean? Cut it out. Man, we're peeing like this off right here. It's Fish Drum Podcast. Yeah. Oh. oh. Let's go. So I do want to get a test and see what is my daddy. And so you called him? Yeah, I called him. He was like, um, he thought I was his son. <laughs> so that means that- I don't, we don't see nothing funny. Nah, 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 nah. Cause Cause he, he, nah but, but, but see, I told you it was your dad. I, 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 first, of all, first of all, that is your dad. I don't know what's going on. I, I don't know who you took the test with and what you had going on, but that, that's your dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sound good, but look, I'm just saying. It sound good. Nah, that's the result. The result, say what it say now. Nah. I, I, I can't lie, I can't pick no results. Now, if you had something going on, then the man that was my daddy. First of all, you ain't had no business going behind my back. That's what you ain't had no business doing. Yeah, yeah, but I just felt like I ain't had no bond with him like that. Now, I knew something was off. You know what I'm saying? So, that's why I wanted to go get my results and, and see what's going on. Let me tell you something. It's okay. You know, I'm, I'm old enough, I understand. Now, if, he ain't, if, if my real dad ain't want to take care of me, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and See, was, some things are better left unsaid. Oh, okay. You should just left it like it was. Okay. I ain't tell you, I told you that was your dad, you should have went right on with it all these years. You 18 years old, 19 years old now. You ain't, it's no sense of trying to go behind my back and figure it out. You too old now. Ooh, did she just say he should have went along with it? No. I mean, he has No every accountability right. whatsoever. Right, he has every right. If he's, she said 18, almost 19, he has every right. I just, noticed he said, I, mean, I didn't feel nothing with this guy. He said it he was didn't so have no spirit. Because, yeah, right. because that's not spiritual. his father. He, that, wasn't, that wasn't his dad, man. And, that, and the only only way I think this is, it would be f- okay if, of course, if it was some foul play involved. Y'all know what right. I'm trying to say. Yeah, right. but, uh, but other than that, like, I hate, I can't stand women well, like this. Well, you know what? Listen, I'm going I'm to I'm 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 say that. I'm going to get personal for a mm-hmm. minute. Because I don't normally get personal. But I'm going to get personal. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-huh. I'm get personal. Go ahead. I can understand when he said he doesn't feel that bond because right. I was in that predicament before. Damn. Oh. And you, it's like, you, as, you, as far you think wasn't that's sure. your child, right. but you wasn't, and I'm like, yo, I don't feel that right. bond with right. this child. Mm-hmm. And then when you get the touch, you're like, oh shit, I know. It wasn't right. mine. Right. So mm-hmm. I understand that bond, that spiritual bond that mm-hmm. he's talking about. Because you didn't have it. That shit is real. Right. Mm-hmm. No matter how much you try to force it, right. you're like, yo, Something I, ain't I just, right. yeah. Something ain't right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And and but mom, oh my fucking god! I like yeah, mom. Wrong. Like, why can't she just I've apologize? Never been in no, like no, that. no, I'm sorry, no son. Whatsoever. Something you know, back in the day, this what happened. Because now what's him. about to happen is is her web of lies is about to be unraveled. Mm-hmm. So imagine what else is 
about to be, be found right, out. Right, right, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, what exactly. she don't want. Yeah, boy, she, she just, she was just And, and I, you know what, and me being a parent, I never wanted to be the, the parent that didn't want to take accountability for my mistakes mm -hmm. when it comes to my children. Right. Like, they're human beings. They deserve apologies, too. They yes. deserve, for children deserve for us to be accountable as well. We're going to make mistakes. We're not perfect. We can apologize to our children. There's nothing wrong yeah, with that. Yeah, we definitely that, can. But, ugh. I think you know what it is. Sickness. You know what it is when, when she got caught and she got put on the spot. Mm -hmm. She know what I to think say. she she doubled down. Right. She doubled down. I was like, well, you went behind my back. No, don't try to flip that shit. Yeah. Me, I think I'm like, nah, mom. You're not flipping this shit today. Yeah. That, you're not flipping this shit today, mom. You know what I mean? Yeah. We going. Yeah. I didn't well, even know who I my father was. Good for him. Sad to say, whoever his father is, right. missed out on a whole bunch of years of his life that he cannot get back. But. Now he can move on. But this is the other thing is, is now the relationship with his mother that was once untainted. It's fractured a little is, bit. Right. But I mean, they can get it back there. But mom got to come to really, yo, I, I have to apologize to my yeah. to my son. I got to. Right. I mean, I believe that if she wants to fix that relationship, she she got to come clean. Right. Right. And now. With if, everything. Now, <laughs> if, if she didn't know. That no, he was no. a father? No, she knew. But because that, she you, said, you, think, she, you think she knew? She said you should have left it alone. Ain't that yeah. a bitch. She said, <laughs> what, what, what was her yeah, verbiage? She knew. She or, said something. Or about, had a strong possibility. Right. Like, she said, oh, what yeah, was done didn't this need happened, to be undone. And then like met two weeks later, so this knew. happened. And uh, yeah, so it was a 50-50 split between this guy, which I think is disgusting. But that's not, you know, they ain't me. Yeah, she knew. So wait, so what now? What Elbuck? Elbuck said his dad was a bum ninja. Mm -hmm. And he knew something was wrong. Now, what are, are you talking about? His real elbow? You talking about his real father, or are you talking about the the guy that raised him? The the the, the, the guy that raised him. You know, oh, I think either. he probably talking about the guy that raised him because he probably saying he, you know, because he was saying he had no bond with the guy, right? Mm. Like I, I I know a male who who went and got like the whole um yeah. paternity okay, he test. Said the guy that raised mm -hmm. him. Um, who got the whole paternity test because he was thinking the same thing. But at that point. The child was maybe like seven or eight, but the problem was is he had already signed the birth certificate and it was and it was nothing he could do to undo it. It was, yeah. was still his child. Yeah. Mm. And that's that's the messed up part because even though by blood it's not your child, but according legally. to the state, and legally mm -hmm. it still is your child. There's mm. nothing you can do about yeah, it. Ain't that some shit? Right. So so the first comment. So the first comment says the paternity test should be mandatory at the hospital. Period. All right, so let's, let's go to the second comment. So the second comment says, him searching for the truth is going to, is going behind her back. From what he said. Remember when she was like, well, you, mm. you went behind my back, which is right. not true. We're not. I think deep down he always felt yep. that's, that's not his father. That's what he said. Yeah. And the father always felt that, that Same that's way. not my son. Mm -hmm. You know okay. what I mean? So here's and something says. probably something was probably said. That, that he's like, hmm, let me look into that. Yeah, so yeah. here it says, because we're in Pennsylvania, as y'all know, we in Philadelphia. So it says, for unmarried couples, the mother can legally decide whether to include the father's name on the birth certificate. If the father is not listed, paternity uh, paternity must be established through other means. So basically it says, in, in Pennsylvania, unmarried parents can complete an acknowledgement of paternity. I do remember filling out that form. Mm -hmm. um, it says, and follow with the Department of Human, Res of, of Human Services. But at this, it's still not saying that the father has to do it. It says the parents. So I know I did it. Mm -hmm. He didn't do it. No, but but if if you're attempting to collect child support, then oh, that's when domestic relations is going to step in, and, and you got to get you cannot collect child support until um, you get the paternity established. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't believe in no child support. Yeah. If 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 you want to take care of this child and you know it's yours. I shouldn't have to force you or take you to, to the state yeah. to do that. Well, you know, he's like my mom. I asked my mom. My mom never collect child support from my pop. I said, why you collect child support from my pop? For what? That's she said, too much. She said, first of all, he was a bum nigga. Mm -hmm. and, <laughs> and second of all, if he want to take care of you, mm -hmm. I can't force him or, or nobody can force him to take care of you. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, okay, I hear you. I hear you. Ain't no thing. But anyway, anywho. Anywho. So comment number three <laughs> says, the bad part is she actually thought she was in the right. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, she she really yeah, thought she, she was in the she, right. Whatever, whatever it is, she trying to hide. She trying to hide something. You she want to get exposed. Right. Well, that part is already exposed. Because you can tell by how she was so. stuck. Like she wanted yeah. to say something, but then she got stuck. Well, she need to sit her son down. They need to have a long talk. 
Yeah, she was like, you went some other things that. probably happened. So. I think first, before they even had that talk, she needs to come to the realization of what's about to unravel before she and, and, and for her to come to terms with herself, because right now it seems like she's still in denial. Yeah, she didn't let know. Maybe she got some other secrets. Yeah, she she got to be. She do. That's what I'm saying. It got to be you a know, whole web of lies that's yeah, about to come out. I mean, I'm sorry, son. I'm not a woman. Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> like, well, how you the fuck was I conceived? To the damn extreme. <laughs> <laughs> we stole you from a hospital. <laughs> oh, Lord. Look, it's and been situations like that. That's stuff like that do happen. Yeah. Where they be stealing kids. They still babies. They still babies. You know, listen, my mom be teasing me, talking about, yeah, I found you in the back. I found you behind the hospital. <laughs> my boy, my mom, my mom, my mom's a mom. I be like, I be like, look, especially with my daughter, I tell her, I said, you was an alien. <laughs> you was an alien. My mom's a motherfucker. She be like, mom, why I be acting different from everybody? I say, because you an alien. <laughs> you a terrible mother. You a terrible I mother. I am not. I tell you. <laughs> you know what? If y'all want, I, I I'll take y'all in. Yeah, you know how you 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 can look you can, at this point. She's twenty six. You can you can emancipate yourself. Ain't that what they say? Emancipate. She emancipate? is twenty six. Is, that is? Is? Is that There's nothing to emancipate. She is an adult. She want to trade you. She's like, I'm gonna trade you like a basketball player. It's nothing player to now. trade. She's an adult. I'm, look, I'm <laughs> off of it. All right, she, so. look. My youngest is 18. There's no one that's a child of mine that can emancipate themselves. Period. <laughs> Whatever. I am free. Any, anyway, anywho. Free. <laughs> so, if it, shall we saw to Oh, you know what? I should almost forgot, man. Y'all messing me up, man. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. And subscribe. Yeah. Tell us what you think, god damn it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this your podcast. Mm-hmm. All right, where we at? Where we at? We on video number four. We on video number four? Mm-hmm. All right, so you know, let me let me show. Quattro for, on, for, for CJ. Hold on, wait, Quattro. Wait, wait. I've been holding it down. Look, I said man. the Uno, the Dos, Tres. I, I rolled that tongue. Did you roll the tongue? I, I, I rolled that it's tongue. It's called the trail. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he rolled it. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Uh, so, Tyra, you, do you know Spanish? <laughs> Un poquito. What the hell was that? <laughs> a little bit. I just said a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right, so we have video number four. So we got a woman that talks about the truth about cheating and forgiving a woman. So all my brothers out there, stop, stop forgiving these Jezebels. Mm-hmm. Jezebel. Jezebel. Yeah. All right, you know, but let me see the video before yeah. I say something to you. And then these half a G's. <laughs> <laughs> we learn from y'all. How about that? It will be like that. <laughs> it's this jump podcast. Oh, let's go. If you forgive a woman for cheating, she will forever cheat on you and just use you for free accommodation. And that seems to be a big, big trigger. Why? Why do you uh, think it's so triggering for people? Uh, I think the thing is, there's a lot more men that forgive cheating than they care to admit. Uh, it's very difficult for a man because like, you know, when you go through something like that, you firstly, you're not allowed to tell anybody because then you look like, you know, you're, you're weak. So you can't really tell your friends and you can't, you know, get any alternative perspective. You're only getting the woman's perspective. So you're almost kind of indoctrinated by her in that moment. Uh, but at the same time, you're really angry, stressed, all of these horrible things. So when you have somebody online and you've gone through all of that to make this relationship work, let's say you've forgiven your girlfriend, you've gone through all of that where you've been isolated, just thinking about it, going through all that. Then you have somebody like me online saying, oh, by the way, if you forgive her, she's going to cheat on you again. And she's probably using you for a free accommodation and you're going to catch her a few more times. It's very triggering. And even for the woman that's playing, spent so, all this time indoctrinating her partner into forgiving her, hearing that message is very difficult. Mm. Uh, no. Go ahead. I'm gonna I'm start this song because I'm gonna say this. Because you're the man, so go ahead. Yeah, I want to hear that's it. That's right. <laughs> say, say it again because I'm the what? Yeah, no, 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 He's the male. <laughs> yeah, I'm the man of it. M A L E. Yeah, I mean, I got a harem up ahead. I got, I got two women up ahead today. <laughs> no, I'm listen. No matter what, I, I, I'm gonna show my love for black men at all times. So go ahead. So, <laughs> Coming from a man, mm-hmm. a man's point of view, I'm not going to lie. I know a lot of men who have forgiven their women for cheating. And they don't say anything because us men, right. we ride this shit. We will grind you. And we, it, listen, you ever see somebody grind pepper, make pepper? We grind like that. It, it, 
What? what? Grind what? What do you? We grind me? you into the ground. If let me tell you something. If you if, your bitch if your male, you took a back. Yup. If your male best she, she, friend, she, she, she had he had her bent over. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Listen, we be like this. Hey, dog, man. We go to bed. Do you imagine him just busting open? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, what goes through your mind? We do shit like that. We do, and then we joke, and that's why. Men don't talk about it. I mean, it's we do more too. Just, no, I guess we it do too. Like, just okay. not no, no, no. Women, y'all women, mm-hmm. I believe, will open up more. A man will open up. That mm-hmm. motherfucker just walk in front of a truck. It's like, oh, you know, I mean, just get. We don't because because you feel because like our you, friends. You, yes, the, the masculinity. Eagles. Yes, you hit around the number. Yeah, the egos like oh, ego, the man had thing. my woman. Yeah, they go. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you don't want you know your woman out there getting bent over by another man. You know what cracks me up. Men cheat on women so much, but the minute we do it, y'all can't take it. No. I swear, and y'all should will, be as strong. And men will y'all say that. Y'all should be as strong I as y'all. I can't Look, take from her what I put her. Say me. that too. Because we y'all put us through We only cheat because y'all cheat. No, 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 no. Y'all <laughs> we put us through we a lot. That we not doing. Y'all really do. <laughs> Y'all men put us through a lot and then we take y'all back time and time and time again. Yes, it takes some emotional, you know, you know, rebuilding to to get over it and for us not to slap the shit out of you. That's, but listen, that's, we didn't got the shit man, But at the end of the day, the minute we do it, y'all can cheat 10 times. So let's just say Los, you with your chick, yeah. you cheated 10 times and she cheated once and then it's like your life is over. Yeah, because she wasn't supposed to. But you did it to her ten times, ten different women. It don't matter. But it was okay. <laughs> it see, you matter. know what? See, that's that. That's that. <laughs> can't. I just can't with him. It don't matter. <laughs> see, that's exactly why. No, I, no, no, I'm gonna tell you why. <laughs> I, I'm, I, I'm gonna tell you and put the camera on, and then I'm gonna tell you why. Because for one, women, it's easy for y'all to cheat. It's very hard. It's very hard for a man to cheat on a woman. What? Yeah, it's very hard. I don't one, see where the no, difficult no, part I'm is. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. Listen, 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 listen. It is listen, easy for us to cheat because we've been listen. getting dick thrown at us since we was like All right, 12. Exactly. So, the, no, listen, women don't throw coochie at a man like that. So, when, when, if, if a woman throw, when you get a chance to get that coochie, man, it's very hard to turn that down. It's like, let me stop. <laughs> see, he don't know what the hell he's talking about. <laughs> All right, look. So, shall we go to the comments? <laughs> you don't know what he's talking about. See, I gave you the opportunity. I shut my mouth. And I, I actually, for the first time, did some active and, listening. And you know that was hard. you was going to say you know something that was some hard. substance. <laughs> and you did not. <laughs> you did not. <laughs> you, know that was, you know that was hard for her to shut her mouth, y'all. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> right, there, there, there so, the first comment says, <laughs> mm, make her believe you have forgiven her. And then make your next move. Yeah, see, that's what, that's what I'm talking about. All right, so that's what we'll that's do. What I'm talking about. Yeah. Which means uh, you didn't never forgive her in the first place. Right. So you, but you, you make lying. her think you did. But you're lying. And and you know what? And I wholeheartedly believe that because so I don't I don't really here? think I don't really think men actually forgive their women for cheating on them. No, no, no. I, but I believe it's more because it's out of convenience, you know. What's out of convenience? It's out of convenience. It's like so when you, y'all you take cheat, it's out of convenience? No. Or you saying when we cheat is out when of you're convenience. In, and then if we take y'all back, it's more out of convenience. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Now, yeah, I'm going to deal with this heifer G, heifer For G another two Jezebel. Years. Yeah, and then yeah. until I find until, something. Yeah. So, you know what? Yeah. You know what, ladies? When he cheat, start start getting your, your stuff together and take him back for convenience. And therefore, start taking whatever you can start, you know, racking up while you can and then leave him. First of all. What? First of all. If you just said if, that's what y'all do with us, so hey, if the one look, like I said, we learn from y'all. The the one who got the house name, the name on the deed, me myself got and the, I got I the upper the hand on cheating. My name is on my deed. <laughs> my name is on my deed as okay. well. Well then. You can and cheat. vehicles. Yeah, you, you, I can you, do whatever. You, can I, you know what? I don't like for myself. So at the end of the day, I, don't, I wouldn't I don't cheat. Like I'm not. A, you. I wouldn't cheat, and I'm not saying just because I'm not a cheater. That's not what yeah. I'm trying. Like I'm good at two shoes. That's not my thing. Like if I'm gonna go be with somebody else, I'm gonna go be with somebody else. Obviously, he can give me something you can't. So what? Um, what the hell? I'm gonna stay with you for? That's how I feel about it. 
See, mm, mm, mm. Y- that's y'all, real are, stuff. are y'all hearing? See, these are uh, see. <laughs> hey, it is. That's why. That's why I'm saying. Like, like why cheat? Like, diary, listen. diary of, of of a woman. What right am I cheat for? Yeah. For what? But see, my, that, that that's be the whole problem when it comes to relationships. Because mm-hmm. my thing is, is why get into a relationship if that's what you're going to do in the first place? If you're that's not selfish, well, maybe selfishness, you, that's not what you are get, yeah. I got somebody to come home to. I got somebody no, cooking you know and what? cleaning and, which, and ironing which, my drawers exactly. and all that stuff. Like, <laughs> you're so, cause, you're so the main the main chick is so the main chick, the wife of whatever is doing all that. Then you having fun with right. the side chick. Right. So the side chick getting all the fun and all that. She don't even know and the real you. For Real, and, real. No, 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 and you no, go no, home no, no, and you no, get out no. in the hell. But then you hear no. you go got the main chick, the Maybe. one that's a- actually helping you elevate, the one that's actually helping. Oh, that's because she's a placeholder. You. She's that's no. The main chick. Maybe cool. maybe the main chick main really chick. ain't helping. Maybe not. May, maybe she's a complainer. Maybe she, she like to throw shit about, back though? up in uh, up in the face because you know a lot What's of women like to throw them What's she complaining about? Yeah. What's she complaining about? Maybe she may, times, maybe probably complain about the 15 times strokes. And just even she from may complain. The 15 strokes is a problem. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Yeah, hey, I'm working all the listen, time. Listen, listen. I'm working all the time. Because at the end of the day, 15 strokes, if he, hey, if, if, mm, first of all, if he got, started. If he got two vaginas, how is he only giving 15 strokes? I'm, I'm like, listen, I ain't even I get thought started the, the more sex strokes. you have, the the the, the, more, the longer you can last. Nah, listen, if I'm, if I'm, I'm in the coal mines all day. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? What? All goddamn day. I'm, you know what I mean? I'm bringing that coal up. My gosh. You know what I mean? I can get these 24 good pumps. Enjoy it. That, that's <laughs> wishful thinking. That's sad. You can't. You ain't. You ain't not even satisfying one woman. You dissatisfying two damn women. That's a damn thing. <laughs> right. Mm. You know what? That's just. He must. He must got something else. Some other kind of benefit because he giving. Because ain't no way at the end of the day I'm like you know what? Yeah, uh, we can go out to eat. But no, I, I, I'm yeah, tired. You know. You know, I'm, I'm but listen, tired. the more money he like got, a cigarette. the more the, the more yeah, money he yeah. got, the smaller the penis. So hey, uh, what do you say? What do you <laughs> I say? said the more money he got, the smaller his penis is. Is okay. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now, exactly. That's how that's how chicks be rolling. Yeah. So. Yeah, man. Like, I'm about to start being like this. I'm out of it. It's like I've been you know, a good girl all the time, you know, and it's right. like it don't get me nowhere. I'm like not, I don't, I don't get and, it. And that's I'm why, not, and that's why I've been <laughs> single. Like, oh, yeah, like this, this dating I'm, stuff I'm is for God. the streets. Like, but because she said the small, the more money he got, the smaller the penis. <laughs> she, Shit. she, she said she content with you know, that. Yeah. No, 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 no. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. I didn't say I was content with that. Let's clear that up. Oh, okay. Let's clear that up. Right, yeah, because that's what it seemed like you saying like no, 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 no. <laughs> that's the game that's played though. Because like if the it is is a lot of let, let's talk about them rich men that look like turkeys. yeah, the rich, yeah, those, yeah. Those, those filthy rich men they they walk around looking like the uh, they look they look they, look, they, they look like they about to die exactly, <laughs> but they caked up. Right, right, <laughs> for, yeah, yeah. for generations, okay, look. and they got those beautiful women. Them you know, beautiful you know, wives, about, yeah. you know, you know what I'm saying. You know what all that is. They got all that money. Right. You know, they, yeah. they, that and they think it's like this big. Video, that other video. They the things looking like they never went through puberty. Like they, come they on. They said that she didn't keep up her stuff. Like what? What happens to the men when they don't keep themselves? Exactly. Up? Like when you when we start dating y'all, y'all got the six pack. We're on this. Right. We're, we're on it to keep you know, ourselves up. Because you know, like you pregnant. When, we making that money. When 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 you know when they diet is all off or they drink too much alcohol. Now we talking about erectile dysfunction and all that stuff. Need to pop pop them blue pills and everything. Yeah, nah, see, no, you got you got to get the little pump joint. Like, <laughs> it's almost there tonight, baby. You got to get that little pump going. <laughs> well, Chris, <laughs> that is sad. All right, so, 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 so let's go to the comment. Nah. So the comment says the next comment. One hundred percent happening to me as we speak. And what are you doing mm. about it? Mm-mm-mm. Not that. That's what I'm telling. Well, wait, is men, this a man or a woman? Us men. Is that a man or a woman? Su- that was speaking. that was a man. And, and the woman cheated on him. I guess yeah. that's what he's saying. Yeah. Okay. Us men will suffer in silence because we yeah. cannot. We can't tell our friends because we'll grind you up. Yeah. And I'm not gonna lie. So I you have you done in it. Silent, so you gonna you gonna grind you gonna grind them up. Yeah, I'm grinding so up. Because you you're a man. You're yeah. supposed to take that shit. Right. Take like, that shit, man. What are you shit, doing? Take or that, what take you that. Take that. Take no that. Diddy, no Diddy. Yes, Diddy. <laughs> no, <Take> diddy. <laughs> no Diddy. No Diddy. No Diddy. Did you look early say no Diddy? Take that, take that. Nah, take that. Can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> <laughs> Can't stop, will stop. <laughs> <laughs> right, 25 pumps, is that? <laughs> no, he said 15. No, then he said three. <laughs> uh, hey. So, so what we got? So the last comment. 
says uh, last comment says uh, where's last comment? Where's last comment? Where? 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 No, oh, no, that's wrong. That's yeah. wrong. That's wrong. That shouldn't. So, that shouldn't be there. Right, so I guess that video. was the last comment. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. So. Anyway. Drop a like, drop a comment, y'all. Tell us what you and think. Subscribe. Yeah, join in on the fun, guys. We yeah, have a good man. time. Yeah, man. <laughs> El Boogie's still on the show. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This joint podcast. This ain't no rhyme show. or reason for either side to do what they do. I don't feel like the cheating is justified. I don't. But cause my, no. my thing is just, just end it. Yeah, just, just move. Just on. end it. Move on. But you know, truthfully, truthfully, yeah, I know we joke, people, we joke they, a lot. They, truthfully, they, they, people be in relationships for convenience. Which yeah, is un- yeah. unfortunate. It ain't so. about. It might not be about love anymore. But right. yeah, I know. Nah, you know mm-hmm. what? Yeah. What is it? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Let me get my pump. Oh, Lord. <laughs> pump I want no damn pump. Like, like the, uh, what how many? Like how the many inches nights? you want tonight, baby? How you want? Inches? What do you want? Five or seven? <laughs> that is so unnatural. <laughs> <laughs> Seven so is the minimum. Let's do it. Damn. Oh, oh, then I gotta get the big pump. First of all, I gotta go to jail like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want the monster tonight? <laughs> hey, I gotta get this right here. Look, I need more than seven. So I my said, minimum I is said that's more the than, minimum. Look, my minimum is more than seven. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, hey, this is your pocket. <laughs> All right, so, so shall we slide to the next video? What we got next video? So Cinco. Did she finally hit the fucking Spanish right, yo? Uh, I've been doing it the whole damn show. What damn do you mean? A hundred episodes. She finally hit the Shut fucking up. Spanish, god damn it. So where we at? So <laughs> <laughs> video such a hater. Such a hater. Yeah. <laughs> a woman stole nearly 50k from a restaurant by adding her well a uh, inmates bo- her inmate boyfriend to the payroll she's a she team going player to jail. she is a team player i need that woman right there in my life <laughs> god damn it 50,000 is not enough you should have took 50K. some more yeah, man it's well that's Mr. probably why she got caught on it let's go a woman from Western Pennsylvania is charged with stealing tens of thousands of dollars from her employer by making her boyfriend a fake employee. Michelle Krasinski was a manager of several fast food restaurants in Butler County. She faked paperwork, putting her boyfriend on the payroll and issuing checks worth nearly $50,000. She was collecting the paycheck and she was forwarding the money to different places for him. Why? Love makes you do some crazy things, I guess. The boyfriend was in prison while the woman was stealing the money. He's also charged in the scheme. It's crazy. I I want to know. I mean, did he have something to do with it, or did he I just believe so. add his name to it? Because where was she? Because it said the money was going to different places. So yeah, yeah. but by her you being a manager, yeah. mm-hmm. that that was that was real easy for her to do. That there was no interview. She right. did the paperwork herself. Right. She she did all the paperwork. Right, we be knowing our men. We know all our men at right. the information. <laughs> Look, we know use, that social. They use the same <laughs> okay. password for everything, mm. ladies. If you ain't know that, they do. They use Watch like one or two passwords. No. Hey, men, change your fucking password. <laughs> First of all, change your fucking all, password. Y'all ASAP. can't remember shit, so ain't, ain't no exactly. Y'all can't exactly. remember shit. Exactly. Get out of here. I ain't gonna lie. I have I have my same password for like twenty years. Exactly. Oh, you you get that message. You get that message every time. Hey, uh, yeah. It's time to change your password. You like no? Let me let me let it go for another ninety days. Yeah. Listen, I, listen, I think my exes from twenty years ago, all of my passwords, exactly. all of my emails and shit. Yeah, you know I mean, they uh, oh, they gonna see some stuff they don't want to see. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so we got some new subscribers up yeah. in there. So let's pop Raymond up, man. Guess? Let's, let's, thank you to the fucking welcome to the party. Guys. Hey, Raymond Guess. Uh, hey, Ray. Raymond Guess. Welcome to the party. Let me get Ray. Let me, let me get Ray. Let me get Ray Ray some claps and shit. Let me get some claps. So, the, welcome, welcome. El Boogie. Look at El, El Boogie said lies. It's All not lies. lies. It's not lies. It's not lies. All lies, goddamn. <laughs> Look, I that's if I don't know one thing about men, I do know that. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. We do need to change it. our fucking bad. I ain't gonna lie, because it should be so fucking convenient, man. You want to change it? Oh my god! I forget shit, man. I forget all the time, man. Damn, fuck that. Yeah, but you know what? I'm pretty sure that whole scheme that she did was pretty easy. Yeah. But I'm I'm curious on how she got caught. Something must have happened. Somebody must have said something because I, at the end I of believe. the day, at the end of the day, if this is an employee that's clocking in, technically and clocking out and it's not a problem an employee 
where where is this all coming in at where she got caught something no I'm, I'm telling you it, i believe that somebody she didn't pay off mm. switch you know as a matter look what the first comments say but yeah, how they, they find out? out yeah that's what i'm curious how they find out if somebody she ain't pay off i like you know what you fucking half a g See, that's I'm why snitching. when you do dirt, you got to do it alone and don't tell no damn body. People be too, people always telling their business. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's one thing that I, I don't do. Like, if I'm doing something, I'm doing it by my lonesome. You will never know. And it's going with me to my grave. Mm. <laughs> oh, my God. She dirt. a team play, though. <laughs> she looking out for her man. Yeah, right. wasn't she? She, she said, I'm going to get you lace when you get out of jail. Mm-hmm. I got you covered. Mm-hmm. So, so what we got? So second comment. So second comment says, I want to see the boyfriend because how did he get charged? Right. Maybe. And that's the fucking truth. How the hell did he get charged? Mm-hmm. Did he know anything Because he ain't that? turned on her. Ooh, or ooh, they ooh, must ooh, have been some kind of ties. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Peep it. Do you think he was one that snitched on her? Ooh. What? You, you think mean? he was one that snitched? Ooh. Why would he do that? Because now he Cause is, she probably out there letting another man get in between them legs. But he's a dumbass because now he just got charged even more. Now he's staying in jail. Mm. Oh, yeah. that, that, that doesn't make sense. I don't know. A man's ego? Oh, yeah. They, yeah. They'll do it. They'll oh, do yeah. It. Yeah, but he was dumb for that. Yeah, I mean, he was thinking about somebody ran riding this girl. Uh, mm. they that go, man giving that going to think about that regardless Jock. when they in jail. So, I mean, hey. Yeah. Oh, well, you know. Anyway, anywho. <laughs> Anywho. Anywho. So what we got? So last comment. I mean, that's pretty smart. I wouldn't do it, but, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. No. right. Would, 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 would you would you do it? Nah. Would you do it nope. I like my freedom. Nah, I'm not. Like I said it. I worked on State Road before. I'm, I'm good. You, you the hell with that? Jelling where you want to be? No, ain't it's it. not. Jelling it, it ain't it. Y'all heard the latest guy? <laughs> Y'all heard? Don't don't interrupt me. Hmm. Let me see who the queen is. In. <laughs> I, 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 I like a woman that talked to me like that. Uh, I'm, okay. I'm leaving a wet spot right here. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, so for all us subscribers that join us tonight, bye, bitches. <laughs>